guys welcome back to my youtube channel vibe with Vandera. i hope you guys are feeling great so guys we have a guest in the house vibe is precious and guess what guys be checking on who is allah eye opening i need my eyes to be open to know who allah is guys yeah let's get right into it Is Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of the universe, the king of everyone, and the lord of everything. He is the only one who deserves to be worshipped. He manages the affairs of all kingdoms. He commands and forbids, creates and provides, gives life and death, raises and lowers people, alternates night and day and alternates victory and defeat amongst nations so that one nation rises and another falls. Only Allah's commands and decree are carried out throughout the heavens and the earth, deep in the oceans and in the skies and throughout the entire universe. His knowledge encompasses all matters, accounting for each and every being and enveloping them with His mercy and wisdom. He hears all voices in their different languages and with their varied requests and pleas. One voice does not distract him from hearing another, nor do their innumerable pleas confuse him. The pleading of the needy beggars knocking at his door does not aggravate him, nor do their questions annoy him. He sees all things, the visible and invisible. He sees the black ant crawling across a solid black rock in a pitch dark night. No matters are hidden from him, nor are secrets withheld from him. He has knowledge of all that has occurred and all which has yet to occur. Everyone in the heavens and the earth beseech him for their needs. Every day he attends to his creation. He forgives sins, eases difficulties, and relieves distress. He mends the broken, enriches the poor, teaches the ignorant, guides the astray, directs the confused, and helps the desperate. He frees the captive, feeds the hungry, clothes the naked, and cures the sick. He accepts the repentance of the one who repents and rewards the one who does good. He aids the oppressed and humbles the tyrant. He conceals faults and calms fears. He does not sleep, nor sleep benefit him. The deeds of the night ascend to him before those of the day, and the deeds of the day before those of the night. Light is his veil. If he were to lift his veil in this world, the splendor of his face would burn all of his creation. What he possesses is not diminished by what he gives for his right hand always remains full. On the day of judgment, the whole earth will be enclosed in a single grip of his hand, and all the heavens will be rolled up in his right hand. Then he will shake them and say, I am the king, I am the king. It is I who created the world out of nothingness, and I who will return it to how it was. No sin is too great for him to forgive, no request too great for him to fulfill. We're all in his heavens and on his earth. From the beginning to the end of his creation, mankind and jinn alike were to be as pious as the most pious amongst them. This would not increase his sovereignty in the slightest. And if they all, from the beginning to the end of his creation, mankind and jinn alike were to be as sinful as the most sinful amongst them, this would not decrease his sovereignty in the slightest. If all those in his heavens and on his earth, human beings and jinn, living and dead, were to assemble in one place and ask him, and he gave each one of them what they asked for, this would not decrease what he has by even an atom's weight. He is the first before whom there is nothing the last after whom there is nothing. He is the most high, and there is nothing above him. The most near, and there is nothing closer than him. He is the most blessed, 
and exalted. He is the most worthy of being worshipped and remembered. He is the most deserving to be thanked and praised. He is the most compassionate of kings, the most generous of those who are asked, the most forgiving of those who have power, and the most just of those who take revenge. With his knowledge comes wisdom, with his might, his forgiveness, and with his withholding, his wisdom. None obeys him except by his permission. None sins except by his knowledge. When he is obeyed, he is appreciative. When disobeyed, he overlooks and forgives. His anger is always just. Every punishment from him is just, and every blessing from him is a favor. He is the closest witness and the nearest protector. He records the deeds and sets down the appointed times for all things. When he intends something to be, he only says it to be and it is. He is the king who has no partner, the unique who has no rival, the perfect master who has no companion or child. He is the independent who has no helper. Everything will perish except his face. Every kingdom falls except his kingdom. Every grace except his has its limits. There is none like him. Wow, guys, actually, I feel that, um, like, you do not underestimate God, never, Allah, or never, whatever. Never. Like, you don't play with him. Like, he's everything they said in this video and more. Like, he's, he deserves all the glory, he deserves all the honor, he deserves all the adoration. Yeah. Like, he, he, he is who he is. Do you understand? Like, it should be your greatest what fear in anything you do. Happen. Exactly. He already know what will happen. I remember you that time, like, when happen. I was growing up, I think I learned 15 names of God, like, it's called Kings of Kings, Lord of Lord. And I mean, hey, I learned this thing and I, like, gave this. But when after that day, like, I gave that, like, speech and all, like, I really felt that, so, like, almost oh, only one person has these, like, names He's and attributes. Name. Like, he owns it. Honestly, uh, there's no, there's you can't compare him to nothing. Honestly, cause like he should be your greatest fear. Like I said, he is the, if he if he is not your greatest fear, then you are not yet a Christian or a Muslim. Exactly, you are not. If he's not your greatest fear, you are not a Christian or a Muslim. Because I don't know what else to make you scared. If you are so scared of your mom, then just be. It should be times but hundred. But have it that some people. How they react to things that happen in this world is not the same way they react to when they hear things or word about God. I, I get what you're saying. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like some people, when they see celebrity, how crazy they go. Mm -hmm. Like some people go to the extent of fainting, shouting, like very, very excited. But once you go to the church, like you are not even happy you, when when they are playing you know singing you just stand like Especially you are the when they are biggest playing. person in the world you don't even move or try to show like yeah. relaxation or comfortability in the house of the lord like exactly. you need to do better honestly yeah exactly everyone no one is perfect of me course. myself i'm not perfect not at all but i'm not saying you should like them. always be a crazy person in church there are no, people that love, are different what, even what i'm trying to impose is how you love your god I know. how you love your religion some people, the way they love celebrities, like social things, they don't take, things, they don't take they don't God away. Them. They don't even compare it to how they love God. They don't. They just like. They just go like, exactly. The, the extent you will go to for what you want is not same extent you go to for your religious aspects. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But the whole thing that we're trying to say is that God deserves this name, and if you and if God or Allah is not your greatest fear. Then you are not yet like you you're not yet you're not yet fully I into see your writings like people write writings and then they are writing God in small letter. I don't know basically maybe they're referring I don't, I don't to know. Nah. maybe they I don't know if they're referring to like their um God like gods like go, the if God you don't talk about God you you at the back because I don't know if that's it or maybe they call their own God like they don't put the gods to be honest, also God. To be honest if you so I don't know friend, if they are being um, trying to be insultive or trying to show less respect or trying to show no fear or they're just being so mid. I, I just want know. to know where they got their mind and audacity from. 
Because even in autocorrect, like when you're writing the God, it will obviously change the digit caps. And the other thing to clean it and to change it to the small letter G is just what really got me. But even if you put the small letter G and there's an S behind it, autocorrect is not going to help you out. Yeah. Because the people are talking about the gods. Yes. But if there's no S in it and just put the G-O-D, they will surely help you correct it. That's exactly. just it. So I don't know. I just feel that everybody with their own mindset. And I just feel that like everybody yeah. heaven at last and we all get our salvation. That's yeah, just it. So, of course, of today's reaction, guys. Don't forget to like the first comment. Don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one. I love you guys so much. Bye.